Hi, I'm Israel Peña and this is my project PDPlay. I wanted to tell you that I normally use the iPad for live performance, but I also like to produce my music entirely in the iPad. A few apps are as creative as Apesoft apps. A Matrix, Mobius Lab, Daedalus, or Daedalus, I don't know <laughs> what's the right pronunciation for that one, but uh, they are super creative apps and one of my favorite things about Apesoft's app are the controls that you can assign to different parameters. You have the LFOs, you have the MIDI control, of course, you have the scrub Y control, and you also you can also use the gyroscope or the accelerometer, accelerometer, the accelerometer to control different parameters um, in, in these apps. So stick around and we'll talk about that. Okay, so I'm going to open Mobius Lab and I have um, a sample here. I made a bit in Koala Sampler earlier today and this is... That's what it sounds, completely dry. And um, let's talk about the controls. If we open one of these effects, um, I just have the filter here uh, turned on. So right now the cutoff control the cutoff parameter is controlled by a, a scrub y uh, control so if you want to assign any controllers to do these parameters what you have to do is double click on them like the knobs you double click on them and let's choose the cutoff and i double click on it and then you choose this squiggly symbol that is for your controls in Apesoft and you have the uh, you have different options you have MIDI control the accelerometer uh, left and right and the accelerometer accelerometer up and down the scrub Y and the LFOs the LFOs have seven sh wave sh shapes that can be synced to the tempo or you can choose your the frequency that you want for them so right now, uh, let's start with MIDI control. So you choose MIDI here. And let me see, I don't think I have, oh yeah, it's already working. So if you don't have your controller assigned to the app, uh, let's close this. We can go to the menu and click on MIDI and choose a controller that you want for this app. I have the launch control selected Mobius Lab will receive MIDI from my launch control. All right, and um, let's go back. Let's close the menu. So let's go back to this cutoff thing. And right now, you can also select the range. So uh, it's, you know, I think it's control one on my launch control that it's working for that. So let's see. Uh, I don't think it was control one. Oh, I was control two, knob two for the cutoff. So let's see how that sounds. Right. Then um, if we double click on that again, we can choose the um, accelerometer and um, left and right and this gravity thing uh, selects how fast the the parameter is changed or how slow so let's put it in the middle so it doesn't move like too fast and oh you know why that isn't working because I have in the menu, we need to choose the gyroscope control here to turn it on. And now, if you can see the parameter is changing values. So yeah, let's see how that sounds. Let's click 
on that one more time. Let's choose the up and down one. And let's see how that sounds. And finally, oh no, not, we still have two more. Now let's cho choose the scrub Y and uh, let's select that. You have scrub velocity, which it also controls how fast the values change. And this is controlled by the um, uh, keyboard. Um, in 8 Matrix, you also have a keyboard. Uh, here in Mobius Lab, you have a keyboard. And this, uh, like if you move your finger up and down in the app, uh, I'm sorry, on the keyboard, it uh, changes the values. So let's hear how that sounds. And finally, we have the LFOs. Um, you have different shapes there. And you can also select the the range. Right now, it's like it's a sine wave, um, square wave, which is basically on and off, uh, triangle. This one is um, this just goes up and then goes up uh, back to zero and then goes up. And this one goes um, from like all the way out to goes down and then goes all the way up again. This is like a random one. Um, and this is like a random uh, triangle shape one. <laughs> and uh, you can sync that to the tempo. Um, you can choose different subdivisions. And um, yeah, that's it. So those are the controls for different parameters in uh, Apesoft apps. Um, so I once tried the accelerometer control in in a live situation where I had uh, this iPad, well not this one, the iPad connected to um, to another interface, and it, it was with a CCK3, not with this one, and um, the um, the interface got disconnected. Uh, so if you're if you plan to use this live with an interface with the CCK adapter, uh, CCK3 adapter, I really recommend that you check that your connection is like super strong. That uh, it's not easy to uh, unplug the lightning cable. Uh, but yeah, so it's really fun uh, to use this things um you let, let's assign a couple of different controls in here let's use the um, uh, reverso here which um let's use and really fast control yeah and there Let's add an LFO to that.
So these are the controls in Apesoft. You have the same controls in Ape Matrix. Let me close Mobius Lab. Let's open Ape Matrix. And you also have the same controls. Now the fun thing about Ape Matrix is that you can uh, you can use different audio units inside it. You can control different parameters in those audio units uh, using these controls. So let's um, use uh, I'm going to start with accent. Where's the accent? Oh, it's in the instrument. So right here. Let's, yeah, tell it to connect. Let's open accent. Let's use the interlude in the end preset. And let's play that. Nice. Okay, so now let's add something like my favorite um, destroyer effect uh, tornado so uh, let's tell um, accent to, to go th to to go into tornado and then let's hear if that is yeah it's not We are going to assign uh, contr some controls to the to the. <clears throat> we are going to assign some controls to the parameters in Tornado, basically to the knobs. And to do that, we open the Tornado Audio Unit. We click on the control symbol, and then we choose what parameter we want to control. I'm going to choose control one and for control one I'm going to use uh, the this knob okay so let's go all the way over there and I click on done and that's saved if we you can see that that is being um, controlled by this knob now um, let's control Let's assign control two to the gyroscope. Done. Close. Uh, I think I have to turn on the gyroscope control here. Let's get, I have to go to the menu and then to gyroscope. And yes, that is working. Now the oh, cool. Yeah, I thought that when I set it down, it was going to go to the middle, but not. It didn't. So uh, then we're going to assign control three to the up and down gyroscope. Uh, and then control four, we're going to give it a LFO. Since it's just a filter, it's not going to. Uh, It's not going to be like all sounding all the time if we choose an LFO. And let's see how that sounds like.
those are the controls and how you assign them in Ape Matrix. Uh, let's assign another. <laughs> let's use a, um, for control five, let's use a Y scrub. And um, so you can see where's the, um, there you go. <laughs> I forgot about the scrub Y control, which is pretty fun too. Uh, Apesoft makes really creative apps. Those are the controls. That's how I like to use the controls in Apesoft apps, especially Ape Matrix. If you find this video useful, uh, please consider subscribing. And if you want to help me buy, if you want to help me save uh, to buy another UMC 404 HD interface so I can use for inputs as I usually like to do, uh, please consider purchasing some of my music in Bandcamp. Um, I have an album there and uh, it would really help if you consider purchasing that uh, so thank you very much for watching uh, please like share and subscribe if you like this video thank you very much for watching